Hello everyone and welcome to Mag's How To Videos. My name is Caleb Magnuson and today we will be reviewing the 2-in-1 Fast Wireless Charger model number ZF-2. Now, before we go over the data I've collected while testing this wireless charger, I wanted to let you know that this is a non-paid sponsored video. This company sent me this wireless charger free of charge to do a true honest review and that is what I'm going to do. With that said, let's start by going over everything you'll get with your purchase. You can see this is the packaging that uh, the charger came in. You can see it says iPhone on it, but know that this will work with any device that has wireless charging capability. Here are some photos of the different ways you can charge your devices. Uh, up here you can see it's charging the uh, watch and phone at the same time. So I'm assuming that you're able to do double charging uh, simultaneously. I didn't have a watch, so I wasn't able to test out that feature, but it shows it right there. So I would have to assume that it's capable of doing that. Here's the back with some of the, uh, the ratings. Here's the side. See, there's nothing on the bottom and the top. It's just like that. So there we go. Next, we'll go over the actual charger itself. It's got a really nice uh, silver aluminum body. Definitely uh, durable. It's got a little bit of weight to it, which is nice. Uh, you can see it uses USB-C to charge. And uh, yeah, here's the the ratings. Uh, you can see on the top here, it's got a really nice silicone pad to help prevent from scratching. Pull a little clip there, you can pop it up so you can charge your phone upright or down. And there's the other little charger right here, as well as the internal fan to help cool. And so, yeah, it's pretty cool. Next, we'll go over the actual charging cable. Again, it's USB-C, uh, which has become pretty standard now, but it's got a really nice soft braided cable as well as uh, comes with the USB wall adapter. And last but not least, the user manual. Now, feel free to pause the video if you wanna actually read it, but I'm just gonna go through it real quick, like so. Here's the first section. And then here's the, uh, the other side. Here you can see I have an assortment of different chargers. I figured the best way to test this wireless charger out is to compare it to some of its competitors. Here I have a standard generic charging cable. For the sake of this video, we're going to call this wireless charger the off brand and this one main brand okay when testing these chargers i used two iphone 12s each phone was allowed three nights or three charging cycles to test out each one of these charging devices let's now go over the data that i've collected over these chargers during my tests We'll first start off with the generic charging cable. When it came to my iPhone, I got an average over the three days of charging of 11.2% an hour. While my wife's, over the three days she used it, got a 16.5% average per hour. When it came to the off-brand on my phone, over the three days, I got an average of 8.9%. However, my wife's, she was able to get a whopping 22.7%, which is crazy. There was a big difference between the two. Next, we're gonna go over the uh, this one, the fan. And uh, I got an average of 9.2% over my three days of testing it. While my wife, she got a whopping 17.4%. 
And last but not least, the main brand. Over my three days, I got an average of 8.4%, while my wife got an average of 9.7%. Well, it's finally time for my favorite part of the review video, and that is the actual review. So I'll be re-rating this wireless charger on a one to five scale, five being the best, one being the worst, over four different categories. With that said, let's just dive in. The first category we're gonna be rating it on is its overall appearance. Now, I really like that, I gave it, that it has a aluminum body to it, as well as this silver and white color pattern. It definitely makes it feel like it's not cheap, and it sort of makes it stand out compared to the competitors that are usually all solid black. So uh, I'm sure they designed this sort of color pattern off of the Apple products since it's supposed to be promoted sort of towards Apple, but uh, definitely uh, gotta give a plus for that. Uh, with that said, uh, since it doesn't feel cheap, it, it does seem a little bulky though because of the size. And of course, you know, it's because there's a fan inside. So I can't really dedu deduct any points off of that for, their, for you know, the internals. So with that said, I'm going to say uh, I'll give it a 5 out of 5 for its overall appearance. The next category is features. Now we know it uses a USB-C charging uh, port or cable, which is nice because that is the most standard and up-to-date charging technology right there. So definitely a good thing that they're doing that. Uh, the other thing I like is that it's of course dual charging. Uh, you got one for your phone or earbuds, as well as the Apple Watch. And I've looked it up, you can charge both things at the same time. Since I didn't have a watch, I couldn't test it out, but uh, it's good to make note of. I also like that it's able to adjust at different angles. Um, unlike the other ones, it was otherwise you had to have your phone laying down flat or it had to be angle, uh, you know, propped up at a certain angle. But here you're allowed to adjust whatever angle you want your phone or device charged at, which is pretty cool. The cable or the coil inside is pretty strong. It'll hold your phone really well, as well as this uh, silicone pad is really soft so it'll prevent from any scratches. Uh, they also say that this will work you know, with most uh, cases, sorry, uh, but uh, I have a battery case. My wife has a case that has a magnet in it, so I wasn't able to test out how well it works with charging through cases, but supposedly it does really well, and I wouldn't doubt it because of how strong the magnet is in the coil. Uh, the other thing I got to make note of is the fan. It's actually very quiet. Uh, again, uh, I took some readings. I'll throw it up on the screen so you can take a look at it. But I slept next to this thing, you know, it was two or three feet away from my face for a few nights and I didn't really notice it. So that was really nice. So, uh, some of the things I did not care for this is one, this clip, this clip right here is super cheap and flimsy. And I've already had this thing for two weeks and it's already partially broken. Uh, it serves no purpose. The hinges on these things are very stiff, which is a good thing. Uh, so when you lay a phone on it and try to pull it off, it, it doesn't actually move at, at all. So the clip is completely pointless. I would remove that. Uh, so the other thing is I would definitely add an LED light. All the other chargers I used had, well, minus the cable, had an LED light in it to help indicate that you were charging. Uh, there was one night my wife put her phone on here, started at 5%, next morning woke up, it was at 1%. Uh, you know, so just having that little light there to help indicate it, whether it turns on for a little bit and then off or stays on completely is a nice thing to have. And I feel like this thing is sort of, uh, it's missing that. So because of that, uh, I would definitely say uh, the features get a four out of five. The next category is price. Now, comparing it to the ones I have, uh, the off-brand one sold online for about $15, and the main brand one, I purchased that three years ago for $60, but currently it sells for $40 online. This one, as of this video, sells for $46. Now, you can get a coupon code every so often and get a little less, but uh, I feel like if their standard price was around the mid-30 range, that would be more um, of a decent price for this, at least what you're getting. Yes, it's a two-in-one charger, but uh, I, I, again, I, I just feel like comparing it to other ones that are out there, uh, about the $35 mark would have been probably the best one for it. So I'm gonna give it a three out of five for price. 
Which brings us to our last and final category, which is the most important one, and that is uh, its performance. How well did it do? Well, I already showed you the data comparing it to the other chargers that I tested, but uh, I'll throw up the graph right here with the overall averages uh, because the cable ran at an average between all six days in the two phones, a uh, 13.9%. You got a 15.8% for the off brand. You got a 9.1% for the main brand and a 13.3% for the uh, the fan right here. And uh, so that technically throws it right in the middle. But if you looked at, you go back and look at those graphs, you can see a lot of those weren't just stagnant compared to the other uh, chargers because there was a few uh, nights where it's just like it sat for at the same percentage for several hours and I'm sure that the cooling feature helps prevent that so and it did have the highest charging uh, rate for one night at a 31.3 percent uh, which was crazy um, so I'm sure this thing does work uh, it does actually charge faster than others it's just I wasn't really able to see it over my you know, my tests, I'm sure if you were to do it for a longer period of time, you'd see it. But uh, with that said, I would give this a four out of five for that category. And uh, that will bring us to an overall score of four out of five, which is really good. Would I recommend this charger? Totally. Um, I think it will work as in the, the cooling feature. I'm sure it does actually do what it needs to do and actually does show some improvement. Um, and if someone else has this or has a similar charger that does that and uh, is able to verify that or actually show the data, feel free to comment that in the down below. But, uh, yeah, uh, with that said, if you enjoyed this video, please click on the like button below that and subscribe to my channel to see more how to videos. Uh, if you have any ideas for how-to videos please leave them in the comments below or if you have a product that needs to be reviewed or want to be reviewed please let me know i'd love to review those products uh so but uh with that said god bless and good luck